If you are struggling with chronic digestive issues, this video is for you. I struggled for years with severe digestive issues. I would wake up in the morning and look six months pregnant before even drinking a cup of water. And I went to every doctor out there and no matter what I ate, my stomach would react. I ended up getting down to three foods. It was chicken, white rice, and coconut oil. And I was stuck there for over three years. And the thing is, is those foods some days would make my stomach feel okay. I would be all right. But other days, my stomach again would look pregnant, be in chronic pain, severe gas, bloating, constipation. And I didn't know what was going on. I literally ended up having such a severe like fear around food. I was so restricted. I isolated myself. I wouldn't go out to dinner, parties, events. I would literally have so much anxiety about my gut, my digestion that I would research all day. And today I am here to share with you the biggest the biggest mistake that I see so many people make when they do what I do because I actually work with clients all around the world now. I ended up healing my gut getting down to the root cause. And I took my OCD that I have all on gut health. I researched everything. I went back to become a holistic nutrition consultant and a GAPS practitioner. I specialize in the gut brain connection. And I see this mistake so many times. So today's video, we are going through why cutting down our food, limiting our diet can actually cause us more severe gut issues. And you may see yourself literally years from now doing the same restrictive diet with no change in your symptoms and what I did to make a change to actually help me overcome this and heal my gut. So I want to start off by saying when we have these gut issues, there's two big things that we do. Number one is we get on the internet, we start Googling, okay, what's the best thing for bloating, gas, constipation? Everything that pops up is different supplements, gut healing this, probiotics, kombucha. The second thing that we do is we go on these extreme elimination diets. One that's very popular is called the low FODMAP diet. I did a whole video on this. I'm going to link it above on my YouTube. And basically, when we cut out these foods, we go on these elimination diets, these low FODMAP diets, we're cutting out specific foods that cause us more gas bloating IBS symptoms. When we go low FODMAP, those are fermentable carbohydrates. So in our gut, we have our gut bacteria. I'm going to make it very simple for you guys. And the gut bacteria, if we have an imbalance of it or more of the bad guys and stuff, it's for fermenting with those fermentable carbohydrates, causing more gas, bloating, distension, pain in the stomach. So what we find, and this is what I did, is I started cutting down my foods. I went to the low FODMAP diet. Then I would realize I would react to one food one day, not the next. So then I would Google that food, say, can it make you gassy? Then I would cut it and then I would cut it. And then I got myself down to where I was on those three foods. And I see this. So many clients come to me. They're on, you know, two to three foods, having histamine reactions. They can't go to the bathroom or they're having severe IBS going on and their stomach runs their life. And over 12 weeks, I'm able to heal the gut get to the root cause and expand their diet so they have so much more foods and it doesn't run their life anymore. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to share with you how I do that. But first, let's go through all of the problems associated with going on these very restrictive diets and doing something like a low FODMAP diet, guys. First off, this is a short-term thing. This is not a long-term fix. If you are cutting out your foods, you're having less in gas and bloating, and you don't get down to the root cause and you add it back in, you are still going to have those digestive issues, the gas and the bloating. That is the whole point of this. So there are four big things that happen when we go on these restrictive diets over a period of time. Number one is when we're cutting out our food, that reduces our microbiome, our diversity, all the good guys, the probiotics. So we need to give all of these, um, when we have the good guys in our gut, our probiotics, when we go on the low FODMAP, we're taking out a lot of different types of fibers and starches. These serve as the prebiotics to feed the good bacteria. So when we're cutting it out and our fibers less, and we're getting less of the diversity of all these micronutrients and fibers and starches in our diet, 
This could really weaken our gut health, our immune function, and reduce all the good guys in the gut. The second big thing is nutrient deficiencies. When we go on the restricted diets, it can lead to deficiencies in essential nutrients, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, all crucial for our body's overall health. Um, also, guys, a lot of my clients that come to me that have these gut issues, they a lot of times have undiagnosed thyroid issues going on. I did a whole video on that, and I will link it here. The next thing is the impact on our mental health. This one really destroyed me. When I'm a GAPS practitioner, gut, brain, connection. When your gut, we have things going on with the gut, it impacts our brain. My anxiety was at the highest point ever when I had my gut issues to the point where I isolated myself. I had so much anxiety around food. Food ran my life. I was worried about what to eat, when to eat, the foods to eat, all of this. And it really led me into a hole. And this is one big thing that I really want to get my clients overcoming. No more fear of food, expanding our diet, teaching them, you know, what to eat, when to eat, the foods to eat, how to do this so that they're able to have their life back. And then the fourth one is loss of our gut resilience. When we go on a restricted diet, that can make our, um, our gut less adaptable to different types of foods. So for example, I've done everything, keto, carnivore, vegan, raw, vegan, fruitarian. Heck, I eat bananas for a few months because I thought that was going to heal my gut. And when you cut all these foods out, especially for long periods of time, your body becomes very sensitive. So you try to add things back in. You don't have the necessary bacteria to digest them. So then you get more gas, bloating, digestive issues. And then you think those foods are the bad foods. And then you cut them out and you're back to restrictive. So as you guys see, if you're struggling with digestive issues, when we go on these extreme diets, like I did for multiple years and was in a hole, it could really cause us to have more gut issues going on in the long term. Now, I want to, I'm going to break down what I did to heal my gut. So stay tuned to the end. But first off, if we cut the food out and we don't get to the root cause, you add the food back in, you still have the issues. Let me give you an example of that. I had a client of mine. She came to me. Okay. She was down to just a few foods, just like me. Okay. I ran her life. She had chronic constipation. She was on 24 centers a day to go to the bathroom plus Lenzest. She had histamine issues. Her nose would run. She had thyroid issues, Hashimoto's going on. And like I said, she was down to just a few foods, couldn't go to the bathroom. And she was on this restricted diet for a while. She was at the place where she was so afraid to add in any food at all. Over those 12 weeks, I didn't just take her from her food and add in a bunch of foods. If I did that, she would have reacted. The first thing I did is I figured out what the root cause was with her. We had mast cell activation, we had low stomach acid, and we had a severe imbalance of good and bad bacteria due to years of antibiotic use. And that could also cause things like leaky gut, holes in our intestinal lining, things are leaking through, you're not absorbing and assimilating your nutrients, you're having more bloating, more gas. So I got her diet set up for her body, her metabolism in a place where she felt comfortable. Then I worked on addressing all of these, the low stomach acid that denatures the protein, kills off bad bacteria in the gut, adding specific things to help start healing the lining of her gut, working on her stress. That was a huge one. And slowly adding in foods in a specific way to that she went from down to just a few ingredients to in 12 weeks, eating over 80 different foods, zero reactions. And two weeks into my program, we were able to get her in half on her laxatives and by the end of the program, completely off of them, having two to three bowel movements a day, no bloating, flat tummy, healing the gut. And she has spent thousands of dollars going to doctors for years with no, no, actually like no results at all guys, because she did not get to the root cause. And if you guys are in this place, 
I literally, this is my jam. I get so passionate and you could hear it in my voice because I struggled for so long. I was on the floor. I was in pain. I'd done all these cleanses. I had over 150 colonics and I struggled. The amount of game plans I made for my parents saying, oh, this cost here. I'm going to cut this here. I'm going to try this here and switch this here. Like I was in a place where I did not want to, I didn't want to live anymore because my stomach hurt so bad. And I know that sounds extreme, but if you have gut issues, you know what I mean. And zero doctors could fix me. I wasted years of doing this. So I actually created a program where I heal my clients. I get to the root cause because I know what happens. I know what goes through your mind. I know what you try. And I had my OCD when I was a young girl. And when my gut didn't feel good, I took that over with all of my research on the gut. So in 12 weeks, I'm able to get to the root cause of my client's digestive issues, heal their gut, get their stomach feeling better within one to two weeks. And if you need help, I want you to head to the description below or send me over the, gosh, send me over the DM gut on my Instagram. And this is one of my clients here. She had severe histamine issues, endometriosis, all of our hormones, fat loss, all of it is linked. She is having her flat tummy back, feeling her best self, zero histamine reactions. And even in my right here too, I'm going to show you guys after it goes through this with my 90 day program, my clients, I have moms trying every diet out there down 20 pounds, eating 800 calories more a day, just healing their gut. And it really does all stem through the gut. So I know how it is. I spent thousands and thousands of dollars wasting on supplements, going to every doctor out there. And when no one could heal me, I did it myself. And I want to help you do that. So if you need help, you send me over that DM on Instagram, gut, or head to the description below. Let's set up a call to see if we're that perfect fit. And here's the deal. With this video, like I said, how do we heal the gut? How do we do it? I just mentioned it. If we cut all the foods out, we need to get to the root cause, figure out what the insufficiencies are. See if we were having the imbalance of good and bad. SIBO, if we have parasites going on. I have a specific whole questionnaire and way that I do this with my clients. Um, I ask them about mast cells, reaction, trauma, stress. We focus on healing the gut getting to the root cause. As we're able to heal the gut, we're able to introduce more foods. I do it at a specific way because if we go too fast with probiotics and stuff, things can get worse. And I was able to get my life back, get so many of my clients' life back all through healing the darn gut in the right way. So stop wasting your money on all these darn supplements. It's not just the supplements that are gonna heal your gut at all. No. I just wanted to hop on here and say that Elizabeth has helped me tremendously with my digestion problems. I am someone who has been dealing with severe digestion problems for well over 14 years. I have been to every single doctor. I have had every single test done. I've done a pill camera swallow twice. I've had CT scans. I've had colonoscopies like three or four times. Endoscopies, you name it, I've had it. And no one, no one could even move the needle with the issues I was struggling with. In came Elizabeth within two weeks, immediately started um, seeing some real change in my digestion. I, am, I have been put on a path of recovery because of Elizabeth. I am forever grateful. I would absolutely work with her again. She is a wealth of knowledge. She can help you. She helped me. Um, I'm just very thankful. Well, if you need help, DM me. I love you guys. And if this was helpful, you you better check out this video here. We are going into gut health. Make sure you subscribe, share it with a friend, watch this video, and don't hesitate to reach out. I truly, truly want to help people. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day.